Whether you choose to float like a butterfly or sting like a bee, you'll still get your chance to lap up the tasty tears of a choice crocodilian. That's what researcher Carlos de la Rosa noticed as both insects made their rounds to the spectacled caiman. Intriguing behavior is referred to as mud puddling and more commonly takes place on moist soil, but blood sweat and tears are also potential sources, allowing them to obtain some much needed minerals and protein. The practice of course probably originates from the simple act of drinking water, but many butterflies and moths are capable of pumping excess fluid out their back end so that they may continue to extract nutrients such as sodium. Now the butterfly certainly benefits here, but I want to know about the caiman. Is this a mutualistic relationship or not? Throw out some ideas of how the reptile might be affected no matter how crazy or outlandish. I'll go ahead and propose maybe the butterfly acts as a giant eyebrow offering a bit of shade from the sun. Your guess is as good as mine. Once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.